good morning and I think it might be afternoon, I'm not sure, but let me just move this out of the way and I thought I would show off uh, an unboxing and I'm going to put my phone here, just move it into the table a bit more and yeah, it's something I ordered from Amazon because, well, you know, just since we're in tough times I thought it deserved to be treat, so I got... Yep, the Star Wars Skywalker box set on 4K Ultra HD. And I never intended to get this, but after seeing so many videos on YouTube and how beautiful the re the trans the 4K transfers are on the original trilogy, yeah, because I, I was completely I was sold because the transfers on the Blu-ray, the 2011 Blu-ray, you know, the one where Vader shouts, "No!" Let me just get it. This one here, yeah, the one where, this edition of the Blu-ray where Vader shouts, no, And, I mean, the transfers on this, oh crap, why am I dropping something today? Yeah, the one where Vader, the transfers on those Blu-rays look rubbish, because the characters look pink, and the, t the scenes on Tatooine look very dull. But after seeing how the transfers look on this, I was like, okay, I'm sold. So... And plus, I'm getting a PlayStation 5 soon, so this will be great to use on my PlayStation 5. And, yeah, I'm just going to dig into this. Okay. Come on. Ah, Jack. Yeah. All right. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's actually quite cool. Ah. All right. There we go, and there's the slip cover. Skywalker Saga Collection Collector's Edition. One complete set for the first time. From young Anakin Skywalker's descent to the dark side to the rise of the resistance and the struggle to restore peace in the galaxy, the story of a generation comes to a riveting conclusion. That's debatable. The saga will end. The story lives on forever. Yeah, the story of the original trilogy, I mean. <laughs> but still, it's a... Uh, yeah, it's got all nine uh, Skywalker Saga films, and oh, this is a beautiful box set right here, and yeah, it's just complete blackness. Yeah, I love how it's the Death Star, and wow, oh wow, it's actually like that Wizard of Oz uh, box set that I've got up there, and yeah, let's pull this out. There's nothing behind there, so I'm just going to put that to the side. There we go. There we are. Skywalker Saga. Oh, this is a, this looks like a beautiful box set. Oh, Lucasfilm. Yep. Let's open it. Right. A long time ago in the galaxy far, far away. Star Wars. Oh, let's we'll see what this is. And I'll see that in a... Um, oh! That's a letter from Mark Carmel. What an extraordinary... Sorry about that, my mum came in, so I stopped filming. So, yeah, just thought I'd read out this letter by Mark Carmel. What an extraordinary journey it's been. Back in 1976, when Carrie, Harrison and I were testing for the roles in what was then called The Adventures of Luke Starkiller, as taken from the Journey of the Wills Saga 1, The Star Wars, there's no way we could have known what an incredibly rich and imaginative set of adventures this obscure little space movie would launch, inspiring eight more chapters to tell the entire Skywalker saga. From some of you... That journey with us began over 40 years ago as inviting Star Wars into your lives from the seats of a few dozen theatres in its first days of release. For others, it may not have joined us. They have joined us somewhere along the way from the harrowing saga of young Anakin's descent to the dark side in the prequel trilogy or the intro introduction of an entirely new generation of heroes in the sequel trilogy. As Carrie once said, Star Wars is about family and that is what we all have Become one giant community that shares the common experience of those of these stories and the fundamental values 
being still in us. Whether you're a relative newcomer to the Star Wars Galaxy or a long-time UPE ultra-passionate fan, I'm deeply thankful for your continued enthusiasm and dedication to George's faraway galaxy, which will continue to grow with new storytellers, building an even bigger galaxy filled with heroes, villains, action, romance, and of course, the Force. May the Force be with you. Always, Mark Hamill. That's a lovely letter from Mark Hamill here. But let's see the contents of this beautiful box set. Right, start the Phantom Menace. Yeah, <laughs> the start of the saga. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I heard the discs are actually hard to get out. Oh. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Uh, the Phantom Mess on 4K Ultra. Yeah, that was a bit embarrassing. Yeah. They're, they're just as hard as get, to get back in as they are to get out. Yeah, that's lovely artwork of the Naboo Starfighters. Uh, Attack the Clones. Uh, some more lovely artwork here. And Revenge of the Sith, the one that changed everything in the saga. And yeah, it's more lovely artwork. And then we get to the one that started it all. Good old artwork by Ralph McQuarrie of A New Hope, my, not just my favorite Star Wars movie, but my all time favorite movie. Then we get to what many people consider to be the best chapter in the Skywalker saga, The Empire Strikes Back. More lovely artwork by Ralph McQuarrie. Then we get Return of the Jedi, the, what was at, what was before, well, before Disney bought Star Wars, the conclusion of the Skywalker saga. But thanks to Disney, we have three more movies. The Force Awakens. I actually quite like The Force Awakens. I'm not going to lie. I actually think it's a fun movie. Yeah, it's flawed. It's It was too much like a new hope. But I still think it's a lot of fun. And I actually do like this artwork of Rey. And I think that's either Finn or Poe. I don't know. Yeah, that's some pretty cool concept art. And... Yeah, that Millennium Falcon reveal in Force Awakens was very well done, I might add. And, oh boy, <laughs> there we get to probably everyone's favourite Star Wars movie, The Last Jedi. Oh man. I honestly love The Last Jedi. I really do love it. I think it's the best Star Wars film by Disney. I mean, I get why people hate, don't, I get why people dislike The Last Jedi and... Okay, that's a bit of a lie. I don't entirely get why people would like it. I mean, if you don't like The Last Jedi, that's completely fine, but just don't be a jerk about it. And then we get to probably my least favourite film in the Skywalker saga, Attack, uh, Attack of the Clones. That used to be my least favourite, but then this took its place, The Rise of Skywalker. I just thought it was a big anti-climax. I'm sorry. I just... Really didn't like how I did a lot of the things Last Jedi established. Ah, then we get to some behind the scenes photos, like the Bunta Eve pod race starting line, and there is Auntie Daniels and Kenny Baker as C3PO and R2D2. And I think these are the bonus feature discs of uh, the, the films. Yeah, because going back to this blurry box set, something I don't like about this Blu-ray box is that a lot of the bonus features from the prequel trilogy, like the some of the deleted scenes and some of the featurettes, were completely omitted for the Blu-ray release. I mean, the deleted scenes and the... I mean, if you look at the prequel trilogy DVD releases, the deleted scenes were actually... George Lucas actually took the time to actually finish the deleted scenes to make it look like, yeah, they could actually fit in the movie, but in here, the deleted scenes are unfinished and... I really hate it when movie studios do that, when they release a certain movie to, like from DVD to Blu-ray, some bonus features don't carry over, which is why I do keep uh, a DVD and Blu-ray copy of some movies, like Disney Pixar's The Incredibles, for example, because yeah, the Blu-ray release doesn't have the bonus features, which is why I still keep my DVD copy. But yeah, back to this. There's... Ah, Revenge of the Sith, and there was Hayden Christensen, Ewan McGregor, and Ian McDermott. Yeah, Ian McDermott was definitely the best part of the prequels, and the best part of The Rise of Skywalker. And there's 
A New Hope. Yep, that's an iconic shot from A New Hope. Well, not as iconic as Binary Sunset. And there's the Battle of Hoth from... That's how they animated the Battle of Hoth. And there's my man George Lucas himself with the Death Star. Yeah. Um, right, next up is J.J. Abrams and Daisy Ridley in The Force Awakens. Yeah, because I think this was around the first day of filming of The Force Awakens where Daisy, Daisy Ridley had a bit of a panic attack during the first day of filming. Yeah, I think this was the moment where Daisy Ridley had a panic attack. And then, uh-oh, there's Ryan Johnson uh, with Daisy Ridley and... I was going to say Peter Mayhew, but that's... I think his name is Junis Tano. I can't, I can't remember his name. Yeah, because Peter Mayhew... I think he was wheelchair-bound uh, during the filming of The Last Jedi. This is before he passed away. Rest in peace, Peter Mayhew. And then we get The Rise of Skywalker. I mean... I honestly think it was a mistake to bring J.J. Abrams back. I'm sorry, I really do think it was a mistake. And yeah, these DVD, these Blu-ray discs are actually the same ones I already have, and that concludes the uh, the Scarecrow Saga box set. Now, this, the only okay, there's actually two gripes I do have of this box set. One, I think the discs are a little bit too hard to get out and put back in, so. Yeah, that's a bit of a gripe I have. And two, for goodness sake, Kathleen Kennedy, release the original theatrical cuts already. I mean, the one without Greedo firing and uh, Payne Christensen goes to the end of Return of the Jedi and the one without Vader shouting no. For goodness sake, Kathleen Kennedy, get to it already. Yeah, so that's a bit of a downside of this box set is that it unfortunately has the special edition versions of the original trilogy on 4K. But the good thing is, I mean, I, the special editions aren't all doom and gloom. I think there are some edits I like, like the altered shots of the Battle of Yavin and uh, Victory Celebration from Return of the Jedi. So, yeah, that concludes the Scarlet Saga box set. Yeah, so that's... So, yeah, let me just put that back in. And that is my unboxing. I've now got a big TV and I've got my PS4 Pro back. I thought I would give one of these discs a shot. Not a 4K disc because, well, the PS4 Pro can't play 4K Blu-ray, so there we go. thought I'd pop in a new hope to see what the picture quality is all like, just to show you guys. I've got it muted because of uh, copyright reasons. Come on. There we go. Oh. Okay, now we're just gonna select our language, which is English, of course. All right, now it's just loading. If you excuse my dad, he's drilling at the moment. Ah, uh, here we, wait, wait a second. Th this isn't a new hope. Wait, wait, what? Oh no, this is the Rise of Skywalker, isn't it? Oh no, oh no. Get away, get away, get away. Wait, what on earth is going on? What, wait, how is this closed? Where are the discs? Where are all the discs? Wait, where are they? What, what happened? Where are where are all the discs gone? Wait, why are all the discs? What? Oh no, what's hap- Oh no. Oh no!